Hello, I'm Jean Noble and this is my studio. Welcome. Uh, we are preparing at the moment for the RI exhibition, which will be on at the Mao Galleries from the 19th to the 29th of May. I have got various um, paintings around my studio and I thought you might be interested in seeing the way I worked as well as maybe the pieces that will be actually in the exhibition. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the exhibition. If you can't get to London, it will all be with a catalogue online and there will also be a virtual tour. Uh, I think it's difficult at the moment. Um, it's quite new to me having to do this sort of thing. Uh, I think I'm going to have to move around the studio with this and hopefully we'll be able to do some sort of virtual tour. Um, anyway. And just here on the screen, I've just got a screenshot um, of the, the, it's a collage of the bits of the paintings that we'll be seeing. So this is the largest painting that I will have in the exhibition. Uh, I, I have a, a sketch here as well. Have I got a long enough arm? Uh, I, I, I keep very much to the sketches that I do on site. Um, Sometimes I change the tones, sometimes the colours, sometimes the shapes even. Uh, but I think on this one, certainly the shapes have stayed much the same. Uh, I work along the Thames, have been for years. I think there's a sort of cohesion about my work uh, because it does all come from one place. It is my inspiration to be down near the water with the boats. I like the... Um, the the juxtaposition between the high-rise buildings and these little sometimes little houseboats um, that seem to have got left behind it's that sort of um I, it's always difficult to say why something attracts you um but i think i mean just passing by this one in particular um which i think is now just a finished you can see the hulls of the boats. Uh, this will not be in the exhibition. Um, I've been working on this uh, more recently. Uh, there are the, the pieces of the boat uh, yards and, and where they, you know, these little boats get squashed in. Uh, and that's the sort of feeling that I often get down there. But it's all very busy. There's a lot going on. Um, this is another one which will not be in the exhibition because it's just too big um stepping back into all sorts of stuff uh but i've been working and this also shows the different sketches around uh, the painting that i think is more or less finished now uh, i may still do a bit of tweaking but i can i can even use the the computer well actually i think this was just the phone and i was fiddling on the phone and deciding you know whether i wanted to bring that bit to the fore that you know let things go uh it's just a question of balance very often uh, i think probably this was more like the original sketch and then i put a bit of color on before i actually started it uh, anyway i've used crayons and uh, and i often actually use water soluble pencils when I'm drawing into um, my paintings as well. This is one that will be in the exhibition and that's its sketch there. Uh, and that very much is the hulls of boats, clearly. Uh, this one was more about the waterways uh, and those channels that you get that come off the, the Thames. Uh, uh, and it was obviously a greyish day that day. There's this one here, can I get far enough back to, there's this one here, which is again the little boats. And then you, on the right, you've got the sort of haulage metal, I'm not quite sure what you call them. Um, and you've got the, the flats and, and glass buildings uh, shown there as well. You're getting a lot of reflection. That was the original sketch. That looks better, it doesn't have any reflection on it. I have a wonderful framer. Uh, but he has, of course, encased them all in plastic um, cling film, ready to, to go to the map. I thought I'd just show you uh, my palette for a start. Um, a very messy palette. I use brushes, fingers, plastic gloves, uh, palette knives. 
I, I've used golden open acrylics for many years now. I really love the consistency of them. Uh, I think acrylics, the RI allow all water-based media. So acrylics are water-based. And the, they now have a, such uh, a lovely vibrancy that uh, is retained with acrylics. You used to get a lot that sank, the colours sank, but I find these are really very true. Uh, anyway, I, I just love them and I've got used to them, I suppose. Um, you can see some Cassart stuff there, but that tends to be the sort of um, underpaint before I actually do the Thank paint. you for watching and I hope you enjoy our exhibition. I think it's going to be a fabulous show. I have seen all the submitted pieces of work and we had such a wonderful selection to choose from this year.